Hey everybody, how's everybody doing this Thursday? Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. So Chantal did a live. It's about, uh, I would say an hour and 40 minutes long. Um, I'm probably going to react to a little portion of it, not the entire thing, because there is a part where Salah comes in and little monkey is playing on the keyboard. I don't want to subject you guys to that. So let's get into it. And I have it sped up, by the way. So if she seems like she's tweaking, she might be, or it could be the speed of the video. LOL. Mama Juice. She looks kind of swollen to me. Hey, Lizzie. Chantal, have you been eating the sodiums? It looks like it, judging by your face. Tommy, Sam Sam, Anna? Thank you. Thank you. How is everyone? Caddy, Kitty, Dream, Daria. Why does my mouth look like that? Because you're filthy. Hey, UCP. Finally caught you. Welcome. Nice to see you. Kamar, hello. Hey, Desi Masawi. Hey, Kitty, Wicked Laughter. <clears throat> I have a small haul. I don't know, I wasn't going to show you guys, but I'm just cleaning up my table. This table gets cluttered with stuff. Because you're filthy. I put it away. <sighs> hey, Blacks, hey! How you doing? Keeping busy, I see. <sighs> I'm feeling good, actually. Vanessa? She's Stephanie? feeling good because she purged all the evilness out of her body in the video that she posted. Uh, was it not yesterday, the day before? So, yeah, was it yesterday? I don't even know. I'm losing track of time. When you watch this crap, I swear, it's like the D's just blend into the next but yeah i believe she purged all the evilness out so she feels good about herself now my skin i just um put some moisturizer hey no name hey it's not how working. you doing nice to see you stephanie vanessa i already did my treadmill today lies and you know what no offense guys thank you acp hey philippa how many condiments well we're gonna see buster always so busy i am always stressed yes but you're doing awesome I follow Box Chaos on TikTok and they motivate me. Kitty Charms, candle. Oh, I'm gonna go pick that candles. out. Thank you, No Name, for my for my uh, stand on track. <laughs> no Twinkle Toes. Thank you, Kamar, Tattoo Chick. <sighs> I'm drinking a diet soda. <laughs> That's not on track. That's not part Actually, of the I'm meal. Actually, I'm kind of depressed because. Oh. Thank you, Tattoo Chick. Oh, she's depressed. Oh no, no one cares. No one cares. You know that I've been quitting. You know. Not eating, not resorting to foods. Lies. At night to keep me occupied and comforted. So Wait, I've kind of been. Don't you have a husband? Shouldn't he be keeping you occupied and comforted? Hmm. What about that? I better cup smoking shisha more lately, but I quit that too. Lies. And I'm kind of depressed a bit because. Because of the shisha. <laughs> like the shisha was making me feel ill, and like my heart would pound. Hey, Dad puppet, and I, I, I read that. Hey, shrimp basket. Well, I mean, you do have heart issues that you fail to get treatment for, and smoking shisha is like smoking multiple packs of cigarettes. So I can understand why your heart would be screaming. Um. Oh, sometimes you have to miss it. Take a break, blocks. You know. <laughs> um. Yeah, short legs. Good horror movie. Strawberries. Hey, Carlos. Jenna. Re replacing an addiction yeah so exactly like before i smoked shisha but not every night and i noticed nice. like i was dizzy and like my heart was racing and i'm like i think my blood pressure is going up <laughs> you think shisha <laughs> excuse me ma'am i don't think your blood pressure is going up i believe it has been up and it's probably pushed to an extremely high level and not only that when you have diabetes you tend to have higher blood pressure and because you're obese you dep uh, you will have high blood pressure so Way to go on continuing to make the stroke arc a possibility. S-H-I-S-H-A. -S -S -A. Pretty close. Hey, coconut mangoes, purple mermaid. Yeah, I've been staying on track with my diet. Nick, Lies. because it's easy. I just, when you count calories, you can kind of eat whatever you want. Like, you should I, aim to eat. I thought she wasn't counting calories. Now she's counting calories. I don't know. I'm confusion. Your food, which I do. Hookah. Yeah, it's hookah. I don't know if you know that no name. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hi. Um, 
<laughs> so I read that even Shut just like up. 30 minutes of shisha can drastically raise your blood pressure. Yeah, and it's really bad for your lungs and cardiovascular system. I mean, we all know that. I would say smoking anything would probably drastically raise your blood pressure, Chantal. Uh, duh. Whatever. A dork. Um, <laughs> like we didn't what? know that. Receipts of our animal sanctuary was just a bunch of empty buckets in a shed. What? What's going on with this friggin' community? <laughs> hey, cool gamer. Hey, big girl, Missy. Sue's near. Warny, warny. You didn't fuck the crazy frog. That was a joke. Oh. Well, it would have been funny. So, anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah she's ref- the buckets of referring to. Um, look, at, I'm not. I don't like talking about other reaction channels, but I'm just going to say this. It's dealing with the Kalari situation and all the multiple GoFundMes or whatever um, that she had. She likes to say before Girl World or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I know nothing about the situation. I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't look good. Let's just say that. It doesn't look good. I mean, those aren't the reasons why I stopped following her. I posted it on my community page why I stopped following her. But then all this other stuff is coming up. It, it just doesn't look, it doesn't look good. I'm, I have to quit. Yeah, it's hookah basically. But um, basically the hookah is like the machine and the shisha I think is the tobacco that goes in it. So I'm trying to give that up because I don't want to have a heart attack. Like, hey Becca. Yeah, oh, it was really um, going, glitchy. Then. Well, I got to go turn more lights on. Here you, you know what you should do is see if Timu sells uh, some more hookah supplies for you, Chantal. Get that on Timu. It's probably cheap. BRB. Go ahead and do it. I'm assuming she has no so, bra on. Oh, now you can really see the bags under my eyes. Okay, so I got some things. No heart attack. Hi, Robin. I know. It is bad for you. Worse than I thought, so. What do you, what do you mean worse than you thought? I, I, really? Get out of here with that. You guys were right with that. I'll give you that L. I mean, W. Hey, George. Julia. It's not a Timu haul. I think we're going to lay off the Timu for a while. Sure. Not too happy with some of the items, but the customer service is great. The memory card was crap, so we had to buy a pretty expensive memory card. Duh, really? And, um... <laughs> hey, Rainbow, we're almost ready to use it. We just need to buy one more part that we didn't know we needed. I don't need understand. Called- like, usually when you got a, buy a GoPro, is that even what she has, or does she have some weird, like, flammable car situation fake GoPro going on? I don't know. But usually you can buy, like, a bundle if you get it from, like, a reputable place. And you can get all the equipment that you need. I, wh- what is the shenanigans she's talking about? They're ready, almost ready to go. Get out of here. A mod. Nobody gives so a we crap. We have to go to the store and buy that to connect our microphones. I was shopping online and I picked up a few things. I don't. I really shouldn't. I need to stop because you know. Oh, anyway, addiction. so I got this Vaseline. Um, no name. <laughs> no way. Thank you, no name. <laughs> Thank you for growing the Beezer army. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Ready, set, so please. the bees your army is probably about up to 65 people, maybe. <laughs> LOL. Bees. I need to do a more enthusiastic one. Ready, set, bees. My arm's going to be so... Look at this already. It looks like a <laughs> testicle hanging from your arm. <laughs> Thank you. That's very generous of you, No Name. Thank you. Uh, always, my friends. I appreciate that so much. Hey, Angela. No Name is back, y'all. No Name the Goat. Hey, yo, mama, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tashi. For sure, No Name the Goat. So generous. <laughs> so... Who all got the memberships? Stephanie? No. Who got them? Buttercup. Hey, Vanessa. <coughs> Are you dressing up as a Barbie for Halloween? Do not worry about it, Robin. No. Don't worry about it. Have you given up watching? Oh. Yeah. I, I was those. thinking of dressing up as a Hooters girl for Halloween, but my son was like, no, Mom, please don't. I don't know what I'm going to be yet. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I like hey, to Joanna. mess with my kids. I don't need to. No, I'm kidding. Hey, Missy. The dildo got one? The dildo. Oh my gosh, that name. Home Depot buckets are receipts, troll. What? Carlos is a troll? I need to catch up on what's been happening in Gorworld. I've been watching a lot of Neon's 24 hour. Who, what? Who's doing a 24 hour streamathon? And Issa P, you probably don't want to catch up on Gorworld. Hey, Victoria! Anyways, Vaseline. People who are thinking of getting lip injections, just put some Vaseline on your lips, I'm telling you. Okay, watch how skinny my lips are right now. Really? Get out of I'm here. I'm telling you, that. Vaseline is the best moisturizer. <laughs> like, you can even put plain petroleum jelly in your skin routine. Okay, let's see if it works. You, like, we don't know this already. This is not like the original Vaseline, so I don't and know. Like, it's like, a, like no. anyone would take skin advice from you, Chantal. Look at yourself. I don't think so. Aloe vera one? Who got members? Your face Thank looks you guys like you've gone through a, a meat grinder. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh, Buttercup. I just had the leftover fried rice for dinner. Of course I'm you so did. full. Oh, that was so good. Hey, Dr. Thumb. Danielle. Yeah, um, I've added a little bit more chicken because I just finished my leftover chicken. I have not been wasting any food and it's been feeling amazing. Hi, baby! <laughs> it's been feeling amazing. It's been feeling really, really good. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? 500 pound woman. I haven't been wasting any food. It feels so amazing. What a loser. Get out of here with that. Aisha spreading rumors that you made a telegram with a fake pic. Wow, how Muslim of you, Aisha. <laughs> oh, Aisha. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, I saw a comment on like that. So apparently I'm going to go see, I don't know, I, there's a, a, an app called Telegram. And let me just say this. This is a favorited app by Hamas. They use this quite a bit. In fact, they use this uh, app so much that when they attacked Israel last year on October 7th, they were uploading all the videos because they GoPro'd all the unalivings that they did at the music festival in the villages, everything. They filmed everything and they uploaded it to Telegram. So I'm not surprised if Salah, you know, has, has been using that app. Not shocking to me Telegram. at all. I don't even use Telegram. Like. Lies. For absolutely right about Vaseline, I do have filler with slight and Vaseline makes you them pop. True, it would, yeah. Because I'm sure if you get fillers, like, you have to take care of your lips, right? I'm sure. I used to want to get <laughs> yeah. a lip flip. And, you know. Um, Can you imagine her with a lip flip? Number. Yeah, used to be a beezer, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, SB. Um, I like the only time I use Telegram. I thought you didn't. I know someone needs attention. No to lip flip. <laughs> I, I don't. I like. I, you know why I wanted to get it? No name back in the day. It was cheaper than lip injections. First lip of injections all, are judging by your looking at your face, um, Chantal, I don't think a lip flip would work for you because of the area in between your lip and your nose. But go ahead and do it. If you think that would work for you, I don't think it will. Go ahead. You would look like something from the island of Dr. Moreau, but go ahead. Expensive. <laughs> um, is so that Salah can send me media files that he, he will film with his phone and he'll send me the media files. So. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever. I don't really give a crap what she says. You have nice lips. Thank you, Isa P. Telegram is like a message. It's a messenger, basically. Hey, Sandra. Former Beezer Fatima. And I think the guy that either ran or owned Telegram is currently in prison. They he they just locked him up a few months ago for some illegal crap. I don't know. I'm not surprised that they're using that app. Where's my grape? <clears throat> I have no idea. I don't know Duck Puppet who's using I have no idea. Actually, that's an old phone number that oh, here we go. I was using like two phone numbers ago, actually. Lies. <laughs> so and Whatever. I, and I wouldn't put it past her when Salah's not there. She's that type to go and troll. Like I said, and this I've always had this like in the back of my head that she's on Tinder or she's on wherever trolling for men still. Kind of like Amberlynn Reed, how she has backup chicks. Chantal does the same crap. So I would not be surprised if she was on that app. Because she's a ho. Whatever. Ho, hey, Lois. Ho. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I did my walk today. I listened to my music and it was more fun. No offense. I don't really like going live and doing the treadmill much because I might do it once in a while. Hey, Ted, because I don't like, I like listening to my music. Not that I don't like Salah's music, but I don't like paying attention to the chat and talking while I'm walking. And just, Lies. You, know. you don't like his music. Just say it. <clears throat> nice. You got to have a good cosmetic surgeon. You got to. Yeah. That guy from One Direction passed away. That's sad. May he rest in peace. That's such a freak accident. You never, that's the thing, guys. I don't know. My opinion, and I told my daughter-in-law this, rest in peace to that dude, but Anytime there's a celebrity that has a mishap with a balcony and ends up like multiple floors to the sidewalk, that seems suspicious to me. I don't know. Try to live your best life because I'm trying to do the same now. Now. That scares me. Like, <laughs> what a balcony. One minute you're here, one minute you're not. <laughs> you know, and what did you do with your life? It makes me really, it puts my life into perspective. What did you do with I your I did this for myself. <laughs> hey, Justine. As you sit there with no accomplishments at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, buddy. She's accountability check. Yeah, I'm not doing these stupid. I know I like said that I would do it. But... Oh, now she's not doing it because she ate it all. That's why. I'm going to do my weigh-ins. That'll be accountability. How about that? Okay, so <laughs> the main reason I don't want, I realize these accountability checks are not a good idea is because it gives dumb reactors fodder, right? So no, I'm it talk doesn't. About all over Twitter. Right, Lynn? I didn't talk about your cheese. Okay, back to my haul. So this is No, it the... doesn't. It, it holds you accountable. So obviously you do not like being held accountable 
and you don't like being called out. So just, just say it, say it like it is, Chantal. You're full of crap. Vaseline, I really love it. This was 750. Yeah, Victoria. <laughs> Looking skinny? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no. Please. I didn't get, I wanted to get walking shoes, but I didn't get any. So walking yeah. Walking shoes. The Doritos are in the room. You like that card again? Thank you. Hi, Teardrop. Pomegranate. I missed you. <laughs> Pomegranate accountability check. Pomegranate accountability check. They're in the fridge. I gotta finish. I gotta eat more of those, actually. Actually, okay, let me finish my haul, okay? Put it on your cheeks. Nice, Lily. Hey, Charles. Bedroom Doritos. I'm always somebody else. Thank you for that. <laughs> She's literally my favorite cow. People are cows, but man, she does move. I'm sorry, but I, you know, it's hard to feel bad for her. Like, I kind of do, because she's been expunged from everyone's butt she was kissing. But at the same time, like, she was, like, so nasty to me for no reason. Like, I don't even know this person. And she was really, really nasty to me first. And I mean, I didn't, you know what I mean? So I don't even have to say anything about her. Like, karma's just getting her at this point. So, anyways... I, no, uh, I, got my I, I don't believe it's karma. That's that's not karma. What's happening to her? It's called um, skeletons in your closet, not karma. Lip balm. I got this. What's happening? I'm gonna to try you. to use this to sleep at night. I'm gonna see if it works. That's not. I don't work. know. Where's the opening? Oh, I love the smell of chamomile. She pronounces everything wrong. And I also so. looked up. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm, chamomile. Oh my chamomile. gosh, sorry, I hiccups. I got some razors. <sighs> Why? Because somebody yeah. mentioned something about you shaving the other day. So now you, you're you going to... Oh, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say something dirty. I'm biting my tongue. <laughs> Actually, I hope it works. Why does there have to be so much hate on YouTube? She can't I don't know, find Becca. it, let's just say. I don't know. Oh, it's teardrop. The haul is from Talabat. It's the delivery service online. Hey, Aaron. And they have like... It's like an online supermarket. They have everything. Hey, Samantha. Chin hairs be gone, Tiffany. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I plucked those. These are... <laughs> um, opening pomegranates is annoying. It is. It takes time. Opening them and then taking the seeds out. Anyways, I had a Venus in... Um, <sighs> um, Bangkok. I forgot the name. And... Hey, Angela. Crystal. Christmas, nothing, baby. <sighs> Can we move on? <sighs> this haul is crap. I don't care about shavers. I buy my I, sha anyway, I, I buy my shavers at Target like six bucks. Who cares? Get out of here. So I got some new one. I'm mad at myself. And I couldn't find the one I wanted. This was on sale. Campbell's! It's imported from the USA. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a party in the USA. Oh no, yeah, you like our products, you like our fast food, but you want to talk shit about us? Get bent. <laughs> so and USA you don't need to get open like anymore. Life is great. So I bought this because I'm going to be making church basement spaghetti. And you have to put a can of That's Campbell's gross. tomato soup Ew. in your tomato sauce. Because, no, no, you don't. Um, I usually never do, but my grandmother makes it that way. My grandmother in her spaghetti sauce. Campbell's, yeah. That's disgusting. Hey, <laughs> Grilled cheese and tomato? No. I'm going to make um, church basement spaghetti. A nice spaghetti sauce. And with um, the fresh tomatoes. Hey, Amanda. Samantha. Cynthia. Grilled cheese. Yeah, I should have got two cans. They were on sale. But even for them being on sale, because it's imported, it's still pricey. It was like $2.50 for a can. Way to appreciate all the little things. I really do, OG. Hey, Nanny. When $2.50 is expensive for you, that says broke to me. What the heck? So much happier if you appreciate every little thing you have in your life. For example, this. I don't know why, but I just appreciate having it. <laughs> Miss Prissy, church basement. Hey, to clean your ass. Well, the soup. Will you use the soup as a doorstop? Thanks, Katie H. So my grandma used to put that, carrots, onions, mushrooms, ground beef, a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese, and oh I think a little bit of tomato paste. What are you doing that here? Horrifying. No, no, don't scratch daddy's chair. Just sit. Good girl. Sorry, babe. She kind of ruined your chair. Hey, bottom. That's, not, that's not spaghetti sauce. I don't know what you just said. That sounds like hamburger helper, not spaghetti sauce. Disgusting. What are you doing, church? I should have called her church. Peri peri chicken with grilled veg and jacket. That is so good. Oh, what are you doing? Brazilian. Portuguese. Yes, bunny. Alhamdulillah. She melted the cheddar. I think she put some cheddar in the sauce. Yes. That's disgusting. And sometimes she would put a craft single, just one, because oh. the craft single melts very well and it makes your sauce creamy. I'm telling you, you have to try it. No. With the tomato soup. Oh my gosh. I'd rather so stab good. my eyeballs. Hold on a second. Babe. So it is true. Babe. The wonderful, devout Muslim who likes to preach about everyone else being vile and disgusting was just harassing me on Telegram. I know you need attention, but you're not going to get it from me, okay? 
go hang out with Cal Bella. She's looking for some also. Because once you're expunged, you're gone for good. Once you prove to be a weirdo and just a fake But friend- hey, uh, Aisha, uh, come over here to the dark side. I'll welcome you. Come on, Aisha. Bring me the tea. And you're gone for good. You're That's welcome it. over here. No loss here. Yeah, she was messaging me, like, tell the truth for once and then put, like, skull faces. Like, what are you even doing? Are you drunk? You know drinking is hot on, right? What is she Excuse doing? Excuse me, like, says the one who was just baked for over a month in Bangkok. Shut up. You were harassing me, so I had to block her. Goodbye. Like, what the F? I Uh-oh. swear, there's something in the I water. I can't wait. Hi, Kiki. Ayesha, come on. Bring the tea. I did nothing to her. Nothing. At all. <laughs> One minute she's a beezer, next she's a fake idiot. Like, she's mad that I was eating junk on camera. Give me a break. Get a life. Like, and now she's, I don't know what her problem is. I don't know. She She seems a little bit nervous to me. I think Aisha has got some tea. Hmm. That's the truth. Attention, obviously. And here it is. This is your last final bit of it, so enjoy. I don't think so. (laughs) Yeah. That side of Gore World is evil. Ugh. Thank you, No Name. I had to, I know. Yeah, it's your job. I-, I had to make that video because the clown, Yaba, did a whole stream being like, I got time, Chantel, to talk about the incident with uh, Camel Face and how I apparently, like, whatever, you know, like, calling me out for victim shaming or whatever. And her whole wife did a whole, like, called her a nutter and was making fun of her. Like, look at, antichrist. and like I said this before, I'm not going to say um, Yaba's wife, whatever she said. I don't even know. I-, I know partially what she said. I don't know. I didn't watch the full stream what she said what i heard was not nice she shouldn't have said it i don't know if she's um gonna say anything different from this point on but that being said that's not the point the point is chantal is that you were like personally involved with that entire scenario so i think it's a little bit different versus um Yaba's wife saying something versus you saying something because what you were saying was providing a fake alibi in a criminal case what Yaba's wife was saying was pure just her own personal opinions on whatever so that's where I find the difference I'm not saying it was right and I'm not giving her a pass for saying whatever she said but what I'm saying is there's a difference you I don't I don't think you can equate the two that's the only reason i talk about these things like her audience has the nerve to be like you're vile i'm reporting you and what violation am i doing by bringing receipts and the truth none what that's receipts? right <laughs> you know you oh, made no, yourself I my, um, look worse in my, my microphone opinion. i'll be right back okay i'm gonna fast forward a little school oh. hey northern lights simply ravishing the only reason the only way i found out about that was through um hecate's daughter's stream not yeah and somebody sent me a tip about that Look, and, and like I said, if there's all these other channels um, talking about this stuff, like Hikate, like I don't, I've seen her channel, I haven't watched it. Um, like all this other noise going on, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even interested in it. I'm not interested in the arguing between the channels, um, pulling these receipts. You got skeletons, you know. Everybody has skeletons, whatever. I look at my, me personally. What skeletons do I have? I've never been arrested. Um, I've n- I've had a bankruptcy, one bankruptcy, uh, when the housing market collapsed and we lost our house and stuff. I believe that's it. I have one ticket, it's car like for speeding or some shit like that. I don't even remember. Um, I've never been divorced. Like like who who fucking cares? Nothing. But I'm just saying I'm not interested in all that crap. What I'm interested in is um Chantal trying to become a better person which she is like failing at again um trying to take the higher road which she's failing at again and her continuously um when she gets enraged dragging in people's children I don't even care like they could be adult children I think she did that to uh T and Sass her adult daughter found a photo of her and uh doxed her as well so it doesn't even matter if your children are adults Chantal for some reason likes to go after the children I don't think it's right and I will continue to call her out on it okay so um yeah Belinda's life oh yeah I forgot about that 
And not, and not only that, and that's not the only thing, one of the main reasons, like I said, I used to follow Chantal. I used to be a beezer, if that's what you want to call me. Um, the One of the main reasons why I turned against Chantal, and I'm going to say this, was the entire May situation and watching it play out and watching her, the relationship with uh, Skeletor and how that all played out. And I've said it before. My mother was raped as a 16 year old. So I grew up with the effects of that and how she was. So I know what it's like um, to see somebody, you know, live through that and the effects of that on somebody. And for Chantal to provide a fake alibi and the lies and all that kind of stuff, that's what like truly um, made me turn against her. I was watching Gaining Grounds live while getting ready. Jenny's looking. Ready to welcome back to Loyalty Beezers. Remember for four months, Ricky said, Beez, there's a heart Michael for you. <laughs> um, and he was talking about how um, Sam Teffler, whatever her name is, was contacting his sister. These people take internet beef to a whole other level. And then they have the nerve to send their minions to our, my channel and be like, you're vile and disgusting for telling the truth. You like, the what are you talking about for defending? Excuse me, you did the same thing with Missy Moo because she had access to... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it was like a government database through her brother-in-law or brother or somebody like that where she was able to access multiple people's personal records. So you are guilty of the same thing, probably at a worse level. Myself, go look at her channel, the YouTube Underground. Are her Like her thumbnails not vile? Her entire channel, thousands of videos shitting on me every day and I make one video and it gets recorded in a vile. Mm. I would be careful because you have a lot of videos on there breaking TOS, not just one. And she wrote the obituary. Yeah, and she admitted to it, so she so did. What? So after knowing, after knowing what her baby daddy did, which you can see the criminal record, it's out there. Hey, Miss ATX. She only has three people who support her. No wonder. Like, who wants that on their hands? First of all, an obituary. I've never seen an obituary where it's been negative and you talk about somebody's criminal history. Nobody is going to put that in, in an obituary, Chantal. Especially if they have children so that doesn't make sense so you i don't even know why you're using that as an excuse but once again you prove to be stupid to support that hey paul ghost hunting yay anyway <clears throat> you should see this obituary it is glowing 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 i'm sorry even to protect my children for their legacy of father whatever you're trying to excuse it with i couldn't do it i couldn't write those words about somebody who did that to a child that's, I couldn't do it. that's you that doesn't mean everybody lives like you do. And thank God you don't have children. I would throw up. It's writing nice words, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Who is Chantal's Muslim cheerleader resurfaced as a hater? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Kel Surprise. I don't trust anybody. Like, there's very few people I trust. But I don't let these people tarnish my relationships with other people. There are some really, really good people out there. But then there's... Yeah, there's twi sick and twisted. Yes, we will, babe. But, you know what? Also... Um, and I was going to maybe do a video on it because you, you have all the to think that maybe the people that turn against you is because you've stabbed them in the back. That's that's what the pattern is, Chantal. People just don't turn against somebody just for no reason. It's because there has been something done and you have a pattern of stabbing people. I'm bring receipts about me. Well, there's a lot about you guys and the things that they said about um, gaining grounds mother with dementia is will make you vomit okay i'm telling you i'm telling you what have you what have it, you said about t and sass you've said a lot of bad things you know because she's an elderly woman as far as her looks and and even making a comment aren't you dead yet things like that so you said uh just as vile things chantal horrible and then i'm vile yeah I'm you vile, are 100 okay. i wonder vile. why i should flip I've, i'm not saying i'm per i never but the thing is i never claim to be perfect yes you have i don't sit up on a pedestal every you have claimed to be perfect probably on more than one occasion you're uh, more than one occasion you've stated on multiple occasions that you're prettier than everybody else probably what else i don't know educated more educated than everybody else blah 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 i mean the list goes on with you so shut up chantal day hide my face and oh. point out other people's flaws over and over from years ago over and over i just bees i try to bees <laughs> so my point is if hide you're gonna do that face. to me and try to drag out old skeletons from my closet yeah i did things i shouldn't have done you know like cuba rage all that stuff in the past i'm trying to be a you just were doing shit like a few weeks ago in bangkok what are you talking about <laughs> in your past get out of here person <laughs> which is more than i can say for them but don't come for me <laughs> when you're a hundred times worse and you have worse skeletons 
Like, come on. Don't bring children into it. I'm not. I'm talking about parenting. You are. I'm sorry, but what kind of good parent do you have? Or are you? When, like, look at Sam. All of her kids have criminal mugshots. That's the only good How thing she has for children is mugshots. And I got that from the gaining ground. Yes, that was a good one. See, and I don't talk about children, but then now you're going to bring up her children in the mug shots. Why even say something like that? And you don't talk about children. That just shows what a scumbag you truly are, Chantal. You're a piece of crap. You're going to get what's coming to you. I, I talk about my own it. flaws all the time. I don't hide them. Hey, Tanji, Fernanda. Thank you, Saints. Hi, Living Laura. YouTube Underground, Andrew. I've said that a million times. Is it about to say? Yeah, I know. There are zero perfect people, Rob Zombie, exactly. <clears throat> but I'm sorry. It doesn't, like, my video was pretty respectful compared to really? the daily reing they do every morning after they set their kids off to school and fat shame me, um, diabetes shame, um, <laughs> pick apart my body while I'm exercising, disgusting things. Yeah, I guarantee not, there's overweight Okay, people. look, I don't know because I don't watch that stuff. I'm not going to be one of those people where, like, if she's exercising, pick apart her body, things like that. I'm not going to do that. Because if she does something positive, I will give her the credit for that. If she does something negative and vile, I'm going to fucking call her out for that. So, I mean, I, I don't... Like, even the video that I made the other day reacting to the vile post that she did... Like, I was thinking about later on, like, some of the things that I said. And, yeah, I didn't feel too good about the things that I said, but sometimes um you just have to call people out and just and if you have to use some vile bad words then you know you just have to do it with not perfect bodies in their audience i don't know how they listen to that i wouldn't want to do it couldn't be me who said they had a perfect body i'm not talking about their kids exactly yeah you, you do just that. did about kids you just parenting did. is different she you, she likes you just did you literally just said about her kids mug shots so you, you don't talk about children Okay. Infertility shame me all the time. <clears throat> yeah. Good. They can't stand when you clap back. That's typical bully behavior. You typical. didn't clap back. Typical. Bully behavior. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You act like you did something special. Like you're like literally, you're sitting on your proverbial high horse right now, Chantal. Like you clapped back. Actually, no, you didn't clap back. What you did is made yourself look like a total asshole, and you made yourself look worse. Because everybody, what everybody did, because you were trying to lie and skate around the actual truth, and we have the archives and all the channels pulled up all the archive tapes that counteracted all the lies that you were spewing. So like I said, all you did was make yourself look like a fool. So get off your high horse. That face. Punchable face. Anyway, I also got another thing of kitty litter. Clumping cat litter. Is that for you? Because you gotta have that handy. Right, baby girl? Yes, baby girl. They talk about kids exactly, Susie. They called an autistic child an R word and talked about his rotten teeth. You yeah, I saw too. that. I need to find the receipts for that too. How I like Excuse to talk about me. kids. You just used the R word and said you didn't care a few days ago, didn't you? Or about a week ago? And you said you didn't give a crap? So what are you talking about, Shanta? And in fact, you used the R word multiple times. Multiple times. Every, you better, you know what? You know what? Um, I would just shut it. I would just shut it. Because the amount of receipts I can get Every single thing you accuse me of that you're projecting, I have receipts for. The most disgusting things you've said about kids. Thanks, no name. I appreciate seeing you and thank you so much for the gifts. Is it? Okay, but that's, <laughs> but that's not the subject here. The subject is you. When there's a channel that goes after them, let them go after them. We're talking about you here, Chantal. Stop it. <laughs> hey, YouTube lover. We love you and that's all that matters. Thank you, Becca. Thank you for the super chat. It means a lot. She's a right your fighter, man. Autism? Yeah. You might not want to see those receipts then, Cynthia. She also called Yabba's kids unfortunate looking. Exactly. Oh, that, Can you imagine? Like, I don't know. And then marrying that person? No, no, no. She didn't show herself on Excuse Instagram. Excuse me. Your husband called you fat and he said he couldn't pick you up and you married him. <laughs> Get out of here. Showing herself <laughs> on the treadmill. She deflected with old natural drama. Which the camel appeared up with. Someone's okay. like, watch, he's going to do a live stream now because you mentioned. And of course, because they have nothing else. Like, I don't know how Dudu does it. Like, goes to work nine to five every day to support a bomb who still talks about his ex. Yeah, I don't know. Like, nice. I, I agree with her on that one. I don't know how Dudu does that. She goes to work and he's like in her condo, apartment, hood house. I don't even know what to call it. Trap house, whatever. And he's there all day uh, doing nothing no job being abusive talking about his ex online yeah doo doo what's up why do you do that hey wendy 
All trash. Sorry, but... Anyway. The girl world crap never goes anywhere. No. Have they been right about a single thing that they yes. claimed? Yes. He's not going to pick her up at the airport. That's where it all started. You know? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Alicia. Fine. She doesn't have to go on a treadmill. Vlog going for a walk. Go. Vlog it. I think I've done that before. I think I've posted a video before. Uh, a long time ago. Maybe, was it last year? The year before? Because we take our dogs in the trails out here um, in Southern California. Because I live by trails and canyons. So yeah, I've posted that before. I haven't done the treadmill okay. though. The treadmill post. The challenge. Stupid. Yeah, I know. I got some of these. <laughs> I, still if my... I do the treadmill challenge, I challenge you to uh, an hour, Chantal, on the treadmill. I go in like four. Can you do that? <laughs> an interesting call. Because I'm going to put this, you have to put this on your spaghetti. I've been missing these. And I got a new thing of grapefruit because I've been eating a lot of grapefruit. I'm sure someone will make a video on why that's not good. It isn't. I'm also dyeing my hair. So I got some hair dye. Oh, God. <sighs> black number two. Black. I know you're not supposed to really dye your hair black, like if you're Muslim, but whatever. I mean, it won't be black. I'm buying black. Black. First of all, <laughs> black is not your hair color. That actually, that's my hair color. My natural hair color is actually black. Um, Chantal, your hair color naturally is probably like a brown color. I, like j just by looking at your eyebrows right now, every time you dye your hair black, you look insane. It's a horrible color, especially, especially for your skin complexion. And also I wouldn't recommend box hair dye because that stuff, you don't know what's in it. You don't know the, you know, the developer, uh, you know, what level it's at and all of that. So no, I don't recommend box hair dye. I, because I've been dyeing my hair brown. I love grapefruit, I know. No, but I want to go swimming, but... <sighs> when we're getting <laughs> page five. I don't know if that's what we want to do in the future. <laughs> the box dye, what can I do, Lynn? It doesn't catch on my hair. The brown fades, I hate it. Yeah, I dyed my hair in Bangkok. <laughs> Dumb female. If you're going to dye your hair, this is what I recommend. Go on Amazon because they sell, um, you know, hair dyes, like, separate. So, like, Wella. You could buy, like, a Wella permanent hair dye and then use a 20 volume developer use that if it's, if you're dyeing your hair a darker color running out for nothing they're totally lying about you attacking her kids <laughs> it's called deflection you? attacking her kids would be calling them unfortunate looking like her wife did so if you're gonna point any stubby fingers you're attacking their kids by bringing up their alleged mug shots and you're attacking their kids by talking about a victim of a sa crime and particularly not even naming the victim by name but kind of naming the uh, the position they have in the family so people would know who they are. So yeah, you did the same thing, Chantal. Worse. It's going to be at your own wife. She made fun of your kids. Not me. I wouldn't do that. Please. I actually think her kids, from what I've seen on vlogs, are very cute. You know? Why are you, watch so Why are you watching her kids on the vlogs? So I thought you only watched channels through Yo Mama, but you're creeping around watching vlogs of children. Predator. Coming for somebody, somebody's parenting, you say, well, you're not a parent, you can't judge. But I can judge what I see. We can clearly see somebody just, like, bullying and attacking. And that's where kids learn it. Kids learn bullying from parents. So is that where you learned it from? Did you, you learn it from your mother? Did she bully you so she could go out running in the streets while you were left at home with a bag of chips, Chantal? So it's concerning. Yeah. Hey, problematic. <laughs> problematic? Welcome to very important research. What do you say, bees? Get out of here. We, we're blocking anyone defending these idiots. <laughs> hey, Zeus. Well said, babe. Thank you, babe. Hey, Scrub Goat. What eyeliner? Oh, I've had this eyeliner forever. It's one from Amazon. Just like a cat eyeliner. Hey, Feral. In love. Um, welcome to Lamb. Ghostface. Gee, 31 months loyalty Beezer. Gee, you should come in here more. They're jealous that you're an open book and they are trash. They hate that people are seeing them for the crap humans they really are. TikTok, yeah, but yeah, gee, thank you. Ready, you said, babies. I'm, nobody's jealous of you being an open book that's called being insane to be an open book like people this. with autism are a gift from god yeah cynthia for sure shut up thank you so much thank Says you so the much the person that uses the r word and you know what like i think that is i think like the r word is really gross and i like i apologize for ever having used it you just when I was, you literally just used it a few days ago so growing up i used it a lot it was like the thing to do 
and it just slips out sometimes but i do realize like first of all yes i agree that word was used um spe like because i grew up in the 80s so yeah that word was used a lot but now it's not looked upon in the same way um so no that's i don't use it and that's not a word that just it slips out because it's not a part of my vocabulary anymore chantal so like i said that just goes to show how disgusting you are that word is literally a part of your vocabulary that it slips out sick it's not a nice word to use hey brooke yeah anybody you know um what else was i gonna say nothing yes cynthia bless your son you know people to to make fun of that are horrible you did um but you know what never slips out of my mouth is the n-word which a lot of people seem to say oh it slips out it doesn't slip out unless it's in your regular you know like if you've used it before in life you just said no. it's it doesn't slip out so that means it's part of your repertoire chantal that it doesn't slip out so you just told on yourself again racist sorry racist pig yeah we used to use it as kids like calling someone stupid basically it wasn't to make fun of people with disabilities it was just to like call them dumb and stuff i have a feeling chantal made a friend of her didn't you make fun of pete's and he's uh i believe doesn't he ask uh, he has asperger's or some form of that um and you used to make fun of him as well so liar well he has a wonderful mom cynthia who loves him so that's all that matters <laughs> anyways she's such a fraud yeah we like her apartment dented headboard remember that <laughs> they say regarded as a loophole mm. Misagi, I hope it never slips out again out of my mouth. Like, I'm going to wow. try really hard. Usually when I get really angry. Does that, have autism? To even say that right there, and there's some... Uh, Cynthia, I believe her name was, she, she was saying that she has a severely autistic son. How would you even still be a member of this if she's going to sit here and say that? I'm going to try hard not to let it slip out. Like, really? The person with the autistic son, you're really going to follow this individual that uses the R word? You're disgusting like her. I think, I don't know. I think he might, like, very high-functioning a little bit. Hey, big horse. Well, that's nice, babe. Bless your amazing, wonderful son. Yeah, the chili flakes are from this recent haul. Oh, and I got this. Red berries. High in fiber, vitamins B6, Bad 12 D, and iron. And low in sugar. Uh, only 117 calories per serving. Zero, 1%, so 0 0.4 grams of fat. 4.8 grams of sugars, which is not bad. You know, anything below six grams of sugar is I'm aiming for right now. And you shouldn't have I'm any. trying to switch this for my nighttime snack, a bowl of cereal. You have diabetes. You shouldn't aim for anything that has sugar in it at all, Chantal. Way to go. Stupid. Instead of chips. So the chips will be retiring <laughs> to Salah. And I'm going to have this with a, I bought some low fat milk. Way to spike your sugar before Just bedtime. Just the high fat milk will give me heartburn. Oh, we watched Terrifier 2. One of your grandson's autism is a very rare one. They have to watch him at all times. Aw, oh, teardrop. Uh, of course. Yeah, Pick I found me. a lady on TikTok. She has an autistic son. and um, Why? Yeah, some of them are just, you know, usually I think it was Asperger's, but now they call some it high-functioning. Asperger's. They can be she, is she Cartman? She's literally Cartman from South Park. She said Asperger's. L-O-L. What an uneducated twat. On their own, function alone. Then there's like, some. there's different, there's a spectrum, right? But this woman, her son, will, like, beat her. He's scary. He's, like, way taller and bigger than her, and people are urging her to have him placed, and she's having a really hard time with it. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to raise exactly someone with special needs. How do you like, know? Okay, Terrifier 2. I don't know. Okay, Terrifier 2 was actually a good movie. It was actually good. Okay, I'm going to fast forward. A couple, I think two months. Sienna is still it. Yeah, it was really gory, but we were laughing. Yeah, uh, there's a, I'm skipping. But she was such a sweet grandma. And I just remember oh, yeah. beef. Hi, baby girl. What else did I buy yesterday? That's about it. I still have some mushrooms. You know what I was thinking of making? Cream of mushroom chicken. Yuck. Maybe, but no, I gotta make, um, I need to make church basin spaghetti bolognese. The bathroom corpse seen in The Shining. <laughs> oh. I know, I used to be obsessed with how creepy that is. is this, like the movie portion Gross. of the live? Like, get out of here. She always has the same subject matter. <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> she had no teeth. Chicken pot pie with mushroom cream. Yum. 
I want to make crustless pot pie still. She literally talks about nothing. She has nothing going on. She talks about movies and she talks about food or she rages. That's like the subject matter. That's it. Whole wheat oil crust. Cream of mushroom bake. Yum, Tiffany. Cream of mushroom chicken. I like the Campbell's cream of mushroom, but I have mushrooms I got to use. My favorite mosque in Kuwait. I've only been to one Habib tea, but I want to go see the Grand Mosque. Been there for two years. Only been to one mosque. Wow. Church basement spaghetti. It's, it's a comfort thing for me. I used to love those comfort. extracurricular. Well, they were bittersweet. I love them more now looking back at it. Back then it was like, thank you, lover. But it's not going to be totally church basement because I'm not using the cheapest spaghetti sauce I can find. I'm going to make, I'm going to roast some tomatoes because I have a whole tin of t- thing of tomatoes. I'm going to roast half of them and make a sauce. Wait, a tin I've of tomatoes? I've been to New York City once. <coughs> yeah, it is good. Wait a minute. Me. How are you going to roast a tin of tomatoes? Isn't that, is that what she just said? What? Oh my God. Baba Ganyosh, yum. I love it. Yes, babe, exactly. Exactly, sweet love. Church potlucks, yeah. They were always run by like old lady volunteers that were so sweet, reminded me of like grandparents. I'd be so much skinnier if it wasn't for church basement spaghetti. <laughs> it's such a comfort meal with like oh sliced goodness. bread, garlic toast. <laughs> comfort meal with this one. Hi, baby. I love it. And parm cheese. Church basement. So we, they would hold these spaghetti functions in the church basement and they would put posters around the school. You know how schools have like a tack board? Grandma ball. <laughs> I, make carb. I remember my grandma. How many times have we heard about this church basement spaghetti? I don't know. It's like the fucking uh, song that he plays on the keyboard. It's like every day. Tired of it. Um, Move on. My dad's side passing away. I was really close to her as a kid. She's the one who get, who um, yelled at me for the extra puddings. But she gave me enough pudding. I, I get it. But she was such a sweet grandma. <laughs> Fat ass. And I just remember her <laughs> smoking, chain smoking, and chain drinking Diet Coke. Um, with ice in a glass and just I would just hang out with her like growing up I would see her every time I would visit my dad he would bring me to my grandma's because my grandma wanted to see me thanks trail trash pot roast the smell of it cooking teardrop works in curries cute lady serving the spaghetti yeah it was butterscotch magic moments butterscotch or vanilla and she made sweet and sour meatballs she made a lot of like cheesecake she made a lot of really good things chicken nuggets with Diana barbecue sauce I remember everything food I don't know I'm just like I've been obsessed since I'm a kid because you're not I don't know why my mom was always concerned about it you know she really? tried to restrict my she, remember your mom was so concerned that's why you're 500 pounds now okay got it my school lunch is gross papaya juice low sugar um sandwiches on whole wheat bread <laughs> no dunkaroos or foot by the foot fruit by the foot i used to smoke and drink diet coke the 1980s was a glorious time <laughs> yeah wow. so when i went to her funeral i went to visit her when she was passing away like when she was passing she was in hospice people who are passing they go through this weird phenomena i almost like I was like, what? Like, one minute, they're doing so bad. You think they're going to go at any moment. And then the next day, I showed up to visit her in hospice. And she was sitting up, in, out of bed, in a chair, reading a newspaper. And she was like, I think I'm going to pull through. I feel fine. And um, I was, like, really hopeful, you know. And then the hospice nurse had to tell my dad and I, like, that's a sign that they're even closer to Yeah, that. that's true. It's really, yeah, they get better and then worse. It's really strange. It's that's, like a second. That's the similar thing that happened with my son when he died. Um I'll do another video and kind of like talk about like what uh, what kind of led up to him dying but um they called us in and they were getting ready um to send him home on hospice you know and it was that day and then you know the doctors left the room or whatever and then I was talking to him and my son my old uh, my other son happened to be there with me and we were talking to my son asking him you know, okay, what do you, when you, we come home, when you come home today, what do you want me to cook for dinner? He wanted Alfredo. And then my other son was like, well, let me go get you some ice cream right now while we're waiting for the discharge, whatever. So he left and, um, the nurse came in and gave him medicine. I can't even remember what the medicine was. And then all of a sudden, um, he started like saying my legs and then he started having a seizure and, all I know, this is this is one of the moments where I kind of realized um, that God was with me in a way because my son like looked up and then he was like, oh, my God, like he actually saw God when he was dying and then he just died. And I'll never forget that. And it's like at that moment, I realized that there was actually a higher power with me to help me survive through that. And another reason is that I think like God 
led my other son to go get ice cream so he wouldn't be there in the room when it happened. And I thank God for that because I think if my son had been in there when my son passed away, it probably, you know, really would have affected him. So that's a little information about when my son died. But yeah, I mean, it, things happen. Wind. Yeah. So I was like, oh, what? That's crazy. They're giving peace. Yeah, they are. So. Hey, Zero Smiles. Treat yourself sometimes. Too. And then there's an, and then another video I'll probably do um, about it, because I think it's like I think it helps me to share that thing that happened to me you know my family and I um the situation with my son passing but also I know there's a lot of other people that have lost children or have lost other people close to them might have even possibly been there when they passed away and I think it kind of helps us connect on that level so that you don't feel alone um maybe in another video I'll talk about after he passed away I did have a dream um about him and it kind of like it was another signal to me that made me realize that God is actually there at least for me and I'm not talking about any type of religion or anything like that because that's not what I'm about I'm just talking about a higher power an actual God really Cynthia sorry yeah, to get I think religious it's like a whole thing. Or, or biblical <laughs> I don't or remember whatever. if my grandma went through that or not I don't remember I don't think so actually yeah she got sick and it was downhill from there several months later like a few months later that was it so but she lived way past what the doctor said she would you know sometimes sometimes they're yeah, not right a lot of the time they are too. but sometimes they're not would you ever go on a cruise yes i really want to my son actually sorry to keep energy she's i'm having like flashbacks to my son so i apologize i don't want to be like the one upper and be like oh it happened to me too but this actually did happen um my son because he was born with a congenital um heart condition his life expectancy um, because he had such a complicated um, anatomy with his heart, he was only expected to live to the age of maybe 13, 14 years old. But due to um, the technology and surgeries that they have today, and basically what you have to do um, when you work with a hospital like UCLA, Day is, UCLA is they do a lot of experimental procedures. So basically... Your your whoever it is, whether it be your child or loved one or whatever, um, will be the first at procedures, and you have to be willing to do this. Like I'm saying, you literally have to be willing to give everything to a higher power in order to like push through this. Um, he was able to live to 21, so he lived way longer than expected, and I'm thankful for every year that I had with him. And I thank UCLA, UCLA, um, Los Angeles. They truly helped him live a longer life. I want to go on a Nile cruise. My grandma died a horrible death from lung cancer. Oh, sorry to hear that, Dr. Puppet. Really, E.E.? -E? Oh, sorry for everyone who's lost a loved one. No, you're not. I'm sure most people here have. Because, and I, I and like, no, you're not, because you came into my community post uh, in one of your sock accounts and you said something like, fuck your son. You said that to me. And another video where I was talking about my dead son. So no, you don't care. You're vile. Day he passed. He passed at home and asleep peacefully. A eh? rainbow sorry for your loss. Hey Tristan, Maddie, let's all go on a cruise. Imagine Amy. If I ever no, became rich, no, that's FFG's I used to idea. Say, like, P. Diddy, but, ugh, Excuse me, that's FFG's. We're doing uh, the cruise, so no, too bad. We got it first. To be like that freak. Um, rich like the Kardashians. Who also wants to be like them? No, the Kardashians <laughs> are part of P Diddy. Aspirated pneumonia. pneumonia. Oh no, sorry to hear that. Treasure life, yes. That's why, even though I really, really want to freaking smoke shisha tonight, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna chat with your audience. Is not that? Yeah, true. Yeah, true, Andrew. We're just all talking about the same subject, you know. Yeah, Becca. Every time I try to sleep, I know. That's why I think I'm, I'm gonna end it here because I don't think she talks about anything else um, that important. Just the same, just going over the same thing: food, movies, and then Salah comes in and plays the keyboard. But like I said, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get. Um, religious on anybody it's just the subject matter that was brought up and then I was thinking about my son his birthday's coming up in November so that's always um a hard time for me um and my family so but I appreciate um all of you especially when you leave comments if you have similar situations um I usually read everything the only time I don't read everything like if you don't see me comment on something 
Um, I haven't had a chance to read it. It's because I'm busy and I haven't been able to. But usually I do read everything and I really appreciate um, if you comment more than once. I appreciate it. I appreciate the comments when you tell your own stories um, about the loss in your life or things that you're going through. I really appreciate it. Eventually, I will start doing live streams. Uh, my life is in Amber Lynn's words, kind of hectic right now. Um, so I'm not able to do that. But when when I get a chance to do it, I would because I would really love to do live streams to kind of get to know all of you better and your stories and things like that. So that will be coming up soon. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.